Hey there, food enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a question that many of us ponder. Can you freeze fried fish? The short answer is yes, you can. But let's explore the ins and outs of freezing fried fish, from proper storage techniques to thawing and reheating. So, stay tuned for all the tasty details. How to freeze fried fish. All right, let's start with the basics of freezing fried fish. The United Kingdom's National Health Service has some excellent guidelines for us. NHS recommends placing your fried fish in an airtight container or wrapping it up completely and sealing it in a freezer bag. This method helps prevent freezer burn, which occurs when food loses too much moisture. Now, here's a crucial tip. If you have cooked fish that won't be consumed immediately, don't leave it out for more than two hours. Bacteria can start to thrive on cooked fish exposed to air within about 20 minutes. After two hours, it's not safe for the freezer. The easiest way to store fried fish in the freezer is to allow it to cool completely, once it's cooled down, pop it into a freezer-safe container, cover it tightly, and into the freezer it goes. But remember, it's best to use this method for storing fried fish for up to one month. How long does fried fish last in the fridge? Now, let's talk about the refrigerator. The United States Department of Agriculture chimes in on this topic. According to the USDA, you can safely store cooked fish in your fridge for three to four days. Keep in mind that refrigeration slows down bacterial growth but doesn't stop it entirely so it's essential to use your cooked fish within that time frame to avoid spoilage. Remember, when in doubt, it's always safer to toss it out if you're unsure about the freshness. Can you freeze fish twice? One burning question many people have is whether it's okay to refreeze fish. The USDA has some recommendations for us. If raw or cooked fish is allowed to thaw in the refrigerator, the USDA says it's safe to refreeze it without cooking or reheating it first. However, Keep in mind that there may be a reduction in quality due to moisture loss during thawing. Now let's talk about raw fish purchased from a store. If it's been handled properly and hasn't thawed, you can safely refreeze it after bringing it home. But here's a crucial point to remember. Never refreeze any food that's been left out at room temperature, covered or uncovered, for more than two hours. The Food Network, however, takes a more cautious stance advising against refreezing fish that has thawed without cooking it first. When raw fish thaws, harmful bacteria can multiply, and refreezing it in this state can potentially lead to food poisoning. If you've thawed raw fish once, cook it before refreezing it to ensure safety. Proper freezing techniques. Let's talk about the best practices for freezing fish, whether it's cooked or raw. You'll want to use heavy-duty packaging materials like aluminum foil, plastic wrap, or freezer paper. For extra security, place the wrapped fish inside a sealable freezer bag. There's no need to rinse uncooked fish before freezing it. If the fish comes in a vacuum-packed plastic bag, you can freeze it in its original packaging. Just be sure to rewrap it if you notice any tears to prevent freezer burn. You can keep cooked fish in the freezer for up to three months and uncooked fish for a more extended period, ranging from three to eight months. How to reheat cooked fish. Now let's move on to everyone's favorite part, reheating and enjoying that delicious fried fish. If your fish is frozen, the NHS recommends defrosting it completely before cooking or reheating. You can use the microwave for a quick fix if you plan to eat it right away. Alternatively, defrost the fish overnight in the refrigerator. Keep in mind that as the fish thaws, it will release liquid. To prevent cross-contamination, place the fish upright in a bowl to catch the liquid and avoid spreading bacteria to other items in your fridge. When you're ready to cook, make sure the fish is heated until it's steaming hot throughout. You have various options for reheating fried fish, including grilling, using a pan, toaster oven, steaming, microwaving, air frying, baking, or even the ultimate option. Deep frying it again for that extra crispiness. And there you have it, folks. The lowdown on freezing fried fish from storage to safety. Remember these tips when you're dealing with those tasty leftovers. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more mouth-watering content.